And when you got your bracelets got locked together? I know, that was a true moment. That was really sexy. Yeah. Yeah, it was oh, like, yes, a, it was like a, a, a Fifty Shades of Grey. You were like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, Fifty Shades of Gold. It's nice, you got a lot of that. You made yeah. some money on that show then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. You look great. Yeah, I Love your shoes, dress, everything great. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, darling. You know, I thought since you're leaving that maybe this is a good celebration for my third time and maybe last time on the Craig Ferguson show on this. Well, not to break it down. I'm doesn't out of breath have to be the ball. last time. Are you not? No, not the last time we hang out. Just the last time we. Oh, hey, and so it's and, and it's and it's the third date, sorta. Of. Yeah, that's when you were. <laughs> That's when you put a slit in the dress. Yeah, yeah. Third yeah. date means, you know... Throwing footballs. I was going to ask you, how many pumpkins do you carve normally? <gasps> I knew this would get around to pumpkins. Well, no, it's fine. No, do you kidding. celebrate American Halloween? Um, yeah, I do celebrate. I actually celebrate American Halloween. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I thought you were going to tell no. me something weird, like we have actual real zombies come to the house, or because you're in a zombie show. I yeah. Mean, you might have no, had enough of it. Show. It's funny, actually, because when I was younger, I used to dress up as Uncle Fester. I did it three Halloweens in a row. <laughs> and How did you achieve the Uncle Fester look? Um, a bald cap. Okay. And an oversized, my dad's overcoat. Okay, yeah. And then um, black eyeshadow under yes. here. And it was all in the stance, really. It was. Look, look, oh, that's good. Do that. You know I mean? That's very nice. Yeah, but I liked it. I liked it so much. Do, I just tried. Do it again. Just do it again. Just do it again slowly. There you go. Ah, uh, <laughs> very nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, wow. Yeah. You've got a lot going on you here. You like all this? Yes. Right? It's do you just want to a, try one on? Yes, please. Okay. I've tried on a Super Bowl ring tonight as well. You know? Oh wow! Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I didn't want to leave my dressing room to come here because I was watching. Really? Show, this show. Is this the only time? That's no. the only time you watch it. No, was I mean, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> look how, no, look how big my giant so wrist much. is. Yeah. Good, thank goodness. <laughs> it's not, it's tiny. I've got tiny hands and wrists and penis. You actually do, because it, did, it didn't. But your socks are so snazzy, I didn't even notice. Right, that's what draws your attention. No, it's a classic yeah. mi misdirect. It's like you magicians. Keep them on. Do I keep my socks on? Yeah. For sexies? Yeah. <laughs> It's like the... Uh, if it's cold, yeah. 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 Or if it's, it's called classic. for. I don't know. Do you keep yours on? No, I don't wear socks, silly. Ever? Well, not... No. <laughs> never? You've never worn a sock? No. You haven't lived. No, I did. I, I wore socks. I used to wear... Did you wear socks one time when you <laughs> celebrated Halloween? <laughs> no, it just made me think when I was at school, I used to wear three pairs of tights. Were you scared? Which is so weird. No. Why, why, why would you wear three pairs of tights? No, because I was so knock-kneed when I was younger, and when we moved to England, I had to wear a uniform, and I had to wear a skirt. You had to wear one. And my knees were so bony that I used to wear three pairs of wool tights to make my legs look... Look chunky? Thicker. Yeah. I know, but I don't do that anymore. So as you can see, I don't have any... You don't have bony knees, though. You have no. good, you're very nice. That well, The I one know. I can see is a yeah. spectacular. Don't look at yeah. that. Don't at this one. Why? What, the, yeah. You have no, a bad one and a good one? It's so like bad. an evil one and a nice one? <laughs> this one is Uncle Festa. Do you want to feel my weird knee? Yeah, please. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, this is it. Feel in there. Okay. Like that little lump there. Oh my gosh, is yeah. that another knee? Yeah, I know. Is it a cyst? No, it's a bone spur. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's like a... Girls thing. love it. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Third day is when you... Uh, yeah, that's when you wear a skirt. The, well, uh, that's Scottish. Mm. It's a kilt. Right. Yeah. I always forget. Have you ever worn one of those? No, I called it a kit. I thought it was called a kit. A kit? Yeah. It's not called a no, kit. No, it's called a kit. Yeah. yeah. Have you yeah. ever been to Scotland? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> it's why? No, because I just think of the, I think of something in the future, but I don't share the part in the middle, so it makes less sense to the person that I'm explaining it to. <laughs> Yes, but you're, I feel you're like breaking one of the basic rules of communication there, <laughs> really. So, yeah, you, you thought of something in the future, yeah. and then that made you think you were weird. Yeah. Do you want to tell me what the thing is that you thought of? Well, I don't know either. That's why it's so weird. <laughs> now I've become more... Let's make a phone call. Yeah. Are you in therapy? You know... I think you should think about it. Yeah, well, yeah. what would it be like? Oh, it'd be like this. I'd be the therapist and you'd tell me stuff. Okay. All right. Ask me a question. Okay, then. Um, why are you sexually attracted to mice? It's something about how sneaky they are. 
So you you like a bad boy then? I like sneaky people. You like sneaky people? <laughs> Are my are, are my sneaky? I don't know if mice are sneaky. Know, they're just doing their thing. Yeah, they're just they're just they're resourceful. Do you have a pet? They make. Oh, I don't have a. I actually I I do. This is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I I got a dog for my parents. Right. Which I knew was going to happen. They knew it was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I wait, got. Wait, you got them a dog. <laughs> they knew it was going to happen. I you didn't. Know what I mean? No, <laughs> they they don't know what you mean. <laughs> they're they're laughing that's... nervously. <laughs> So you, you got a dog for your parents. Okay, so right. I got a dog. I was feeling in a really cozy mood, and I, and I found this amazing dog in a dog shelter, and his name is Alvin. Uh -huh. And uh, my stepmom and my dad had said to me, now if you get a dog, because I was trying to get a dog for three years, I really wanted one, and they said, it's going to be our dog if you get a dog, because you'll end up... Because I travel so much, and it's right. really busy. Right, uh, beginning to latch on. Yes, yeah, sorry, right, sorry, sorry. right. So, but the only... It happened very organically, because I had him, and he was living with me in Georgia for many months, and he's a real charmer. Everybody what kind of a dog is he? He's a collie mixed with a spaniel. He's basically ginger and white, sort of like... Oh, that sounds nice. He sounds like a dog from... he reminds everyone of Jamie Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> because he... <laughs> <laughs> Because he's so lovable, he gets away with everything. So he just poops on the floor and, and chews everything. Now, I've met the actor who plays Jamie Lance. I don't think Jamie poops on the floor. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I mean, he just gets... I thought in, he would... I'd let him poop on my floor. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's beautiful. And very beautiful so, man. So very beautiful. Very nice So chap. princely. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, but we're anyway, out of time. he's not like... My <laughs> yeah. Mm. Fancy an awkward pause? I feel like, you know, we'll, we'll be able to handle that. I do. Have you met? Uh, that's my good knee. Okay. That's, that's my sexy knee. <laughs> this, is, this is my working knee, and this is what my is knee that? for the ladies. Uh, Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the honor. Hello. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. This is your... No, I'm, not, I'm just saying things now to say things. So I make my living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're out of time. We actually are out of time. You want some candy or something? Or a, Can or, I? Want a mouth organ? Yeah, definitely. Or a harmonica? Uh, there you are. No, it sounds like a, an impediment. A mouth organ? No, it sounds like something's wrong. That's what I mean. No, it's nothing will be wrong. Organ. Just put it in your mouth and blow. I'll do it too. Okay. <laughs> Elegant, classy, oh. beautiful, sexually attractive. <laughs> thank you so much. You're also really elegant and wonderful. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> but thank you so much. Well, that no, you, 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 you look And I love the way you stabbed that zombie in the forehead. <laughs> Is that... I mean, first of all, congratulations on that show. It's a massive hit. Thank you. You must be very wealthy. No, I wish. <laughs> Maybe one day. I'm sure. <laughs> This is America. Yes, this is America. It's an aspirational society. Yeah. One zombie at a time. <laughs> How many zombies have you killed yet, you know? Oh, probably 60 or 70,000. <laughs> I don't know. I find your accent intriguing. It, it seems mm. to be from some place and then from another place. I know. Where are you from? I am from New Jersey, born there. Uh -huh. I know. And, um, and then I moved to England. And my mom is Scottish as well. <gasps> I'm so... So excited for you. Yeah. <laughs> your mother is Scottish? Where is she yes, from? Yes, she's from Glasgow. So am I. Am I your mother? That's crazy. <laughs> um, I was trying to work out because you guys are actually the same age too. And you really? Oh my God. Other. I'm the same age as your mother? I know. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. No, no, yeah. it's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just, I just, hang on a second. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm fine. I... Wow, that's extraordinary to me. She must have been very young when she had you. She was. She was yeah, very yeah. young. She was yeah. very young. She was 12. <laughs> Thanks for that. You, you made an old man very happy. Now, so your mother's from, well, maybe I know her. What's her name? Is it Susan. Margaret? Oh, Susan. I know. Uh, I don't know any Susan. <laughs> Susan from Glasgow? Why, of course I know her. Yeah. We had, um, we had a funny reunion. We had a huge Scottish family reunion, actually, last summer. And I didn't tell my mum I was going home. And all of our Scottish family was at the house. In Glasgow? In, no, in Surrey, my, is where my parents live now in England. Right. Um, and I turned up and I knocked on the door. And my mum, she's such a pragmatist, and she opened the door. She went, I haven't got enough beds. <laughs> Your mother is definitely from Glasgow. <laughs> oh, here you are then. Back from your zombie show. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure she is. I, I uh, loved my mother greatly, but she was from Glasgow, so, you know. <laughs> we don't have enough beds. You're five. Get out and earn a living. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. lovely. So, so you've been to, to Scotland mm. then? Yes, yeah, so I've been there a lot, actually. Uh, not for a while, but, yeah. Well, you've been yeah. zombie killing. You got all the, Where do you do the zombie yeah. killing? Where do you make that? In Georgia. In Georgia. Atlanta. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's where you want to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where you want to go and boil in the Georgia heat. It's and hot there, yes. Yes, yeah, it's, very, it's hot. very hot. But mm. but at least you're not in the zombie stuff yet. No, I yeah. know. Right? Yeah. There's always that chance. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm fascinated by zombies. I think that they, I think most people are. Hence the popularity of the show. It's very well written, of yes. course, and acted and such. But there's got zombies in it, and I I always wondered I if they poop. <laughs> I think they do. I don't know what they do with it, though. Not well, I don't do anything with mine, either. I, uh, I poop and then I bid yeah. it farewell. <laughs> Goodbye, fair poop. You're on your own. <laughs> we don't have enough beds. <laughs> they, um... They are, they are interesting. I actually always thought... Because people always say, what, what would you like to see the end of the show be? Or the end of the... The cure for the apocalypse, and I always think, well, what if it was actually a hybrid zombie human super non pooping machine? <laughs> That's actually not part of my fantasy, but it just became that. Yeah, no, I think <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's good that you can adapt. If you mm. can adapt, you can survive. Yeah. See? That's what you, so you're yeah. ready to. So you would breed with a zombie then to create zombie children? Well, the zombies, maybe they would, they would, they would stop them from eating humans, but then the zombies wouldn't still want to need to eat as much they'd have no appetite so they'd live for longer with less sustenance um i haven't thought this through that much no no i get it it's, not... <laughs> it's fine but can i tell you something Do anything you like i had a i'm very about... non-judgmental okay good good i had a dream about jeff goldblum before i knew he was going to be on the show on monday shut the front door really i was no seriously on uh... Monday afternoon, I thought, I really want to go to karaoke. And I had such a strong urge whoa, to go whoa, to karaoke. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you were drunk on Monday afternoon? No. <laughs> I just had an abundance of energy. I just okay. had a good conversation. And I thought, oh, I really want to go just sing a song in the I karaoke see. booth. And I sometimes go by myself. And I have people that love to do karaoke. But sometimes it's like 1.30 p.m. And you don't always, you kind of You can't really someone. get a crew together at that time. No. Yeah. But, um. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll, go, I'll just go to karaoke. I didn't make it to karaoke that day, but that night I had a dream that I went to karaoke. And when I went to the karaoke booth that I usually go to, I opened the door and Jeff Goldblum was in the room singing. No. And then the next day I got an email saying, the other guest on the show is going to be Jeff Goldblum. And I literally freaked out. Like, I couldn't even make this up. Yeah, that's Isn't this crazy. Mean... <laughs> Did you meet him backstage? Yes, and I told him this story and he cried. <laughs> He didn't really cry, but I feel like he wanted to. <laughs> no. he Inside, I feel like he wanted to. He really cried? No, you know that I'm I'll laughing. Yes. No, I'll say no, yes. no, he, he yeah. didn't cry, did he? No. Thank you for saying that, though. That was <laughs> really... Oh, my God. You can come back. That was really funny. <laughs> Oh, that got home, that. That was yeah. the very idea. <laughs>
He's lovely, Jeff. He, he's so lovely. He's very, very, very nice man. He's yeah. Got teeth. Have a look at his teeth. I saw his teeth are so clean, and his glasses are very clean. Yeah, he likes everything clean. Yeah. I imagine that everything's clean about. I him. think his soul's probably clean. I think he's a clean conscience. I think. Yeah. You know, he's pretty. He looks after. You know. Yeah. Uh, he plays. He plays jazz piano. He That's plays a jazz clean piano. Sort of... Yeah, everybody's got their dark side. <laughs> Yeah, but he seems like, um, <clears throat> I just got a frog in my throat, I don't know that's if that's right. psychological or... <clears throat> I'm just going to cough through it and just... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> anyway, we're, we're out of time, so you're all right. <laughs> want uh, to have an awkward pause or meditation or such? <clears throat> or we could do, we could do <clears throat> pretend choking. <laughs> <Just> uh, <laughs> Do you yeah. want me to perform the Heimlich on myself? Yeah. Is that possible? I don't know if you could do it on you. I don't think so. It's mm. like, you know, licking your own elbow. <laughs> at least not your body parts. I do know my body parts. No, no, at least not your body parts. Oh, you mean your business? The sports. No, like a sport that... Did yeah, I bring I this as well or did you talk no, about it? No, no, I did talk about it because okay. that's the kind of classy monologue I like to deliver of it. Yoga. <laughs> I'll and never be able to do Bikram again. You do the hot yoga? Sometimes, but it doesn't feel right. Oh, I bet it doesn't. <laughs> and it, that's what makes it even better. Yeah. You must play jazz piano. In my mind. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> anyway, we're, uh, we're out of time. So awkward pause or meditation okay. or anything else. You can throw a frisbee if you want. Can I unwrap some um, candies? Some yes. Chocolates? yes it reminds me of Christmas, actually. Yeah, they're, help yourself. They're uh, little chocolate dollars. And then there's a giant chocolate dollar here. Oh, wow. You can have that. Maybe, um, no. It's shiny. It is shiny. I feel like we could burn the little snake. My friend has the same mug. I've really? never seen that mug before. Really? My friend Stati, hi, he knows who he is. Stati and Haley, they have a smug in their house. They're gonna love that I just said that. <laughs> but they don't drink as sexily as that. There you are, man. It meant that. I'm right back. MC, uh, Lauren Cohen, everybody, Lauren Cohen. for coming back on the show right again like quickly thank you so much i was kind of scared i was going to have a sophomore album you know like your second album you have a band and they release this great record and then, and then the second the album is like, like i don't know but then i thought no nah, craig won't let me down french fries <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> but you know what happened was you very graciously said you would come back because we loved you so much and then Kristen Ritter who was supposed to be on the show tonight um, uh, has uh, disappeared. Oh no. <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's ill. Okay. She's ill. I thought you were going to say has dislocated something. She has. She <laughs> has dislocated her leg. <laughs> No, she has. I think she's got the flu. Anyway, it's something ghastly. How do yes. you feel? Are you all right? I feel, I feel well. All yeah, right. I'm all located. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> hey, now, I think you came back because you were raised by a Scottish, a Glaswegian I, uh, mother. Yes. From the, have you talked to her since you were here last Yes, and she said, you have to say I'm from Newton Mairns. Oh, that's the posh part of Glasgow. No, that's, she made, she wanted to make sure I said Yeah, that. it's very posh. <laughs> that's like saying, oh, yeah, I'm from the hood. And then you go, which part? And you say, Beverly Hill. <laughs> It's a yeah. very different thing. Newton Mills is absolutely lovely. They See, talk I like this. It. They do. <laughs> because they've got lots of money. And they love to talk about it. Yeah, do you do a good Scottish accent? No, apparently not. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't. It, no it's good. But I was thinking of how bad my Irish accent is because you and Ricky were talking about your bums. And your Did Nether me? Regions. I think it might have come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the only accent I do worse than a Scottish is an Irish accent. And I only know that because I know a really bad Irish joke, which nobody ever laughs at. Let's see if it... Okay. <laughs> so Paddy goes to the doctor and well, he doesn't no, no, no. feel Paddy, well. Paddy's the uh, Irish fellow Paddy's in the joke. Paddy's the Irish fellow. Right, I see. Um, well, we uh, just assume that we know this man. <laughs> yeah. He's Irish. He's... You, yesterday he was here. 
Right. Really here. <laughs> he goes to the doctor and he doesn't feel well. <laughs> I'm just on his stop no, already. No, no, no. no I don't no, want to do us. it. All right, so an Irishman goes to the doctor. The, yes, and right. his name is Paddy. Right. But it could be different. Well, should we change it? Yes, let's call him uh, Colin. Okay. Right. Colin goes to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, Colin likes he's really healthy. I know him. <laughs> Okay, All right, well, so he's just going for a checkup, though, okay. isn't he? Yes. Right yes. there, you are there. It's not the doctor that, that Ricky saw that had the. It's a doctor that goes that inspects your nether regions. Oh. Yes, so he goes there. So he's there. in Holland then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so his name is, is, is Yun. Dr. Yoon. Dr. Yoon. Okay. Dr. Yoon. Dr. Stephen Yoon. Dr. Stephen Yoon. Okay. Um, yeah, he goes to the doctor and he doesn't feel well and the doctor says, um, I think the problem is in your bum. And he says, would you mind checking? And, um, and no, but he says, doctor, doctor, would you mind checking it out and seeing what's up there? It's like we were an island there when you did that. <laughs> that was great. And he says, You should um, do that in The Walking Dad. <laughs> <laughs> in The Walking My Two Dads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and he says, um, well, bend over and I'll check. And he checks and he goes, oh, doctor, I can feel like there's something in there. And so the doctor pulls and he pulls some money out and he finds a 20 pound note. And then he goes, doctor, there's loads more. Keep going. So the doctor keeps pulling and he pulls out all these 20 pound notes. And then he says, Paddy, I think I've got it. Uh, Colin, yes. Jan, I think I've got it all. Do you want me to count it? And he counts it and it's 1,980 1, pounds. And, and Colin Paddy says, I Bollocks. I wasn't feeling too grand. <laughs> See, isn't it the worst that, joke you've No, that, no. <clears throat> right. <laughs> no, I, I think it's a really good joke. <laughs> you know, I have to be honest with you, some nights I have trouble following the show myself, and <laughs> I wonder if other people do. This show or a different show you're watching? You make a fair point. What shows, <laughs> what shows do you have difficulty watching? Um, that show about um, th all those people. See, it's difficult to even remember how it goes. All oh, right, yeah. The one with the, uh, the Beverly Hills Housewives of Beverly Hills? Yes, and, and then all the cats that are in that show. It never makes any sense. I this, think that's, that's not that show. show. No. That's why I find it so confusing. That, the show you're thinking about with all the cats is uh, Skippy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know the show I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Skippy the Bush Kangaroo? Yes. We, did you still have that thing? Yeah. We have this thing. I remembered when I was a kid in Scotland, at the same time Wait, as your mother. Real. Okay. Right. There was a, sh a show that they imported from Australia called Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. <laughs> and I made them find it on the internet, and here it is. Look. Skippy. Fantastic song. Doesn't that make you want to live in Australia? It does. Yeah. It makes me, it's such a lovely, wholesome thing. It, it makes me want to live in Australia in the 1960s. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's that film with Meryl Streep where the dingo ate the baby, which I actually only just saw recently. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think the dingo ate that kid there. No. I think he's fine. <laughs> Not until after that episode. <laughs> no, he's protected by Skippy, the bush okay. kangaroo. That He protected you from dingoes. Oh. Yeah, because the dingoes all had moustaches and wore fedoras. <laughs> <laughs> but I, Mike, how you doing? Yeah. Can I, I eat your baby? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're really charming, though. What, Austra Australians do you the like? Dingoes with oh, the dingoes. Oh, the dingoes. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. out of time. <laughs> do you like Doctor Who? Yeah. Oh, there you are, then. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that new one that he's doing? But the new Doctor uh, Who, who's no, no, my no. old friend, Peter. Oh. Peter Capaldi, who's the new Doctor yes. Who. I used to be in a Let's band with him. With I it. took acid with that guy. Oh, my God. I know. You went to rehab where I used to live in England. Really? In Surrey? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went to Farm Place in Surrey. Yes. It, what is it? Is it in Farnham? Yeah. Yeah, it's near yeah. Farnham. Yeah. yeah. I was in Isha and then... Really? Right well, I, w I was yeah. right there. I was one of the people that was only allowed to walk up to the gate and back. Yeah. <laughs> I did a I did a retreat in Wales once. A retreat? What yeah, well, a it retreat? was it was like a meditation silent, but it wasn't because of the drugs. It was just for fun. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> oh yeah, well stick around. Let's get you through a few more steps and see <laughs> if you still think that way. It was to um, 
I was to watch the sheep. There were a lot of sheep in the fields around and you would meditate and then this sounds so dodgy on every level. <laughs> I just... I like it. I like the idea of just watching sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Filling silences. Oh, we have to. We're done. We're out of time. We have okay. to have awkward pause or meditation. We don't have any sheep, unfortunately. So yes, um, awkward pause, imagining sheep. Okay.